All right, guys. I figured I'd do a little update. Um, we're right in the middle of the weed harvest. Uh, they were calling for some rain, so we decided to quit running for a while. Uh, everything at the home farm is done. We got uh, everything to do at the other farm. And we got to haul a lot of the straw over here. So uh, we do that by hooking two wagons together, two 20 foot wagons. And uh, I use my truck and a tractor. We try to keep two going when we're hauling the straw and the baler stays in the field and keeps going with the accumulator. The bobcat will be in the field and the tractor will be in the barn. Um, this year I did not uh, have anybody really to help with the uh, getting out of the field. I did the last day, last two days so far, but uh, <clears throat> this is what it looks like now. The wheat is uh, gone off the field. Uh, we've had a few rain showers. Um, as you can see, clouds are, uh, they have that look to them like rain's coming. The, um, the wheat yield is uh, average. It's uh, not a bin buster, but uh, we're not gonna go hungry either. So can't complain about that. Uh, <clears throat> normal yield, yields are exciting in my book. Uh, the straw is actually yielding pretty good. Um, it was probably a little bit taller variety, a lot better than I thought it would yield. Um, we have, uh, we gotta spray this stuff. You got some mare's tail. Coming up in. It's got some grass coming up in it too. But, like I said, they've been, it's been kind of threatening rain. We really haven't gotten much. You, you still can't make a mud ball. So, uh, there's enough moisture in the bean for the beans to come up. Um, yeah, so, we, I have these two loaded up because I got a guy coming to get them. But as you can see, that's where the, how full the hoop barn is. Uh, I can probably get another 2,500 bales in here and then I have to uh, start looking for areas because I'm gonna run out of room this year. Um, we've never run out of room before, so. It's uh, first time for everything, that's a good thing. I'm not gonna complain about that. Uh, Dad planted all the beans. I have not planted a bean. Uh, and he'll probably do. He uh, he ran a combine and harvested all the weed and he ran a tractor and I set him up on GPS and uh, we kind of went over how to do the AB lines and we don't have auto steer, but that does, uh, it's pretty helpful, the AB lines <clears throat> on the GPS. You don't have to have it, but yeah, it helps. It's kind of hard to see where you're going in wheat stubble, so GPS is really, really helpful with that. We tried doing it before without it. It's kind of hard to do. You miss a lot. Here's uh, the Holstein. Y'all haven't seen them in a while. Um, I have, uh, I'm gonna get in here and kind of show you. Yeah, I do have a fan going with a mister hot and yeah they like to lay in them they like to make a hole and lay in it <clears throat> but they're uh they're they're gaining weight pretty good this is my pet right here uh, this is probably the biggest one right now they're all they're all they look really good uh, these calves are, they were five months old on the 17th. Um, they're all 500 pounds easy. Some of them are closer to six. I'm doing pretty good. Um, I have, I, some of you around the country might not have access to some of the stuff that I use to grow these. Um, this is syrup. They call it syrup, but it's not the syrup that you that you eat put on pancakes. This is uh, this is from a local distillery, and this is kind of like the bad products. They they use a slinger and they sling it all out of the the uh, the mash. And uh, this is some of the leftover product. They have slop, and they have whole slop, 
and then we have wet cake we have syrup and then you have dried distiller's grain and that's they sell that there's a lot of local farms that buy that straight from them but this is some of the byproduct this is uh i've been told this is about 28 percent protein so um their their manure gets a little loose on it but they uh they really do really good on it they really gain weight well um some of you follow me on instagram you can go back and look at the dates um, i have pictures of this calf on there and uh he's pretty darn good size he's up almost up to my chest so they're growing pretty good in this heat i have not implanted them no implants at all uh, i'm thinking about doing it here pretty soon but i don't want to go with a too aggressive one because it's hot and they're not going to uh eat as much uh I know I don't like showing manure and nobody really wants to see it, but that's I'm pretty satisfied with that. Um, with how I'm grinding it and everything. But uh, yeah, they're on full feed corn and uh, they get all the forage they want in that box right there. They get to eat all they want of everything. And they do great. <clears throat> uh, the heat index has been right around 100 the last few days. Today, it uh, barely made it to 80, so everybody's nice and frisky and jumping around and everything. I'm getting ready to, uh, we're getting ready to purchase about, uh, or these are my calves, and Dad's going to go halves in this group with me, and I'm going to try to finish them. Uh, i got to get out of here. I'm getting, I think I'm a toy. Uh, we're gonna buy some more to put in here. Um, and we're gonna try to finish them. Uh, shouldn't be a problem. I've talked to some local people that finish them, and uh, <clears throat> I'm hoping by. Uh, I guess we can. You can always go back and look at the video, but I'm hoping by next April or so these things will be out the door. I don't know if it'll work out or not. I'm hoping they'll finish a little faster being on full corn. And I am going to feed slop and syrup and all that good stuff. So, uh, Other than the manure loosening up a little bit on syrup, everything's pretty good, I think. Uh, hey, uh, this is the best I've ever done with Holstein. So, uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to show you another group of calves I got. All right, we're back here. These are the uh, bulls that I have. The only three that I have out of few, the few cows that I have that are registered. But uh, yeah, these are Cavanese bulls. That was not, but these will be Cavanese bulls. I'll, I'm going to try to sell them. I'm officially Landmark Cattle Company in American Angus, so that's exciting. These are the other Holstein. I've been doing some work back here. This was a sow barn, uh, converted calf barn. Uh, I do have a fan blowing. It's supposed to help here. Uh, I probably need more fans. Just a little old cheap fan, but um, they're on full feet also. These calves are. Uh, let me see. They're nine weeks. I see. Is that right? No, that's not right. No, they're getting ready to be, uh, they're, they're 11 weeks. That's what they are. Um, I've had, uh, I did something different on these. Uh, I really don't typically, uh, raise calves in the, uh, in the spring. Uh, I usually do it in the winter and I get them all cut and dehorn <clears throat> before the flies get on. So, uh, yeah, this is a pit, and I know it's going to get plumb full of straw. So I'm going to have to figure something out here. They do drink their water over top of the pit, so they do all their peeing in here. I was kind of hoping that these boards would hold the straw and the liquid would run underneath into the pit. Uh, that's kind of what I designed here, but <clears throat> this is a uh, zero-cost uh, setup here. It didn't cost me anything. Trying to get it set up where to work as you can see some of the liquids running down here uh this pit's probably five foot deep or so 
four to five foot. It's not as deep down there, but the lagoons are back that way. So um, I'm just trying this for now. Uh, might be some improvements later on, but this will work. It's holding. Everything's working right now. And uh, yeah, I use the feed bin that we used to use for the hogs. We fill the, the hog feeder for the calves. Watch out. They feel pretty good. They have to run around. So I, I banded these calves, and they have not been dehorned. And I should have done it, but I didn't do it when they were babies. And I should have next year. I will. Uh, they haven't been implanted either. Uh, they have been wormed. They had a shot for uh, black leg and homophilus, the respiratory. Uh, and have, they've had um, Enforce 3 also. So. Anyway, I'm back here. I might as well show you some of the pigs. All right, here's the pigs. Uh, they made it through the heat. They don't stay in here very long. They're in here about four weeks or so. It's a shame to make it let all this go to waste, but I mean, what can you do? Yeah, we need a bush hog back here. Just haven't had time with all the bailing of straw and everything. Just working on everything. It's a really, really busy time. Uh, fix some of the sows. And uh, here's uh, some of the pigs. Hog price is actually pretty good right now. Um, these are getting fed barley. Ground up barley and put in there. It's a lot cheaper than corn. And I do, obviously they do pretty good on it. So uh, They'll be ready to go here in the next few weeks. Some of these will be fair hogs. We'll take them to the local fair and let the kids show them stuff. Yep, there it is. There's an update video. Thanks for watching.